ArcGIS Pro DriveTime trade areas are available from the Business Analyst Toolbox. With DriveTimes, you can predict the market area around your facilities. When you set your Business Analyst data source to either local or online, all network solvers and street data are configured for use. Let's walk through the tool to learn more. Choose any point feature or use the pencil tool to add new starting locations on the map. A quick tip, if you select one or more points, drive time areas will be built only for those points. For distance type, time and network distance are supported. Time units could be minutes, while distance units are often miles or kilometers. Next, enter the travel distances. To add multiple bands, add a distance and click Enter. On the map, I show a single layer with both 10 and 15 minute distance bands around my locations, the yellow and green. You can choose to remove overlapped areas so that nearby locations don't cross over. On the map, the dark red areas are overlapping. If I rerun the areas to remove the overlap, known as cannibalization, you can see each area has no shared polygons. You can optionally refine network parameters such as travel direction to and from your facilities, or change the polygon detail if you need a highly precise boundary that considers every segment or a generalized output often used when running thousands of areas. You can even set the day and time to model traffic conditions. In this example on the map, I have a seven minute area based on traffic conditions at 10 a.m. on a Wednesday. However, if I change the settings to five o'clock on a Friday, you can see my coverage is much smaller. This allows me to more accurately predict the demographics around the location. To accomplish that, I can use the drive time layer as input boundaries for summary reports, the enrich layer tool, or infographics. Thanks for watching.